Alright, what's going on BJOE? I got a couple of items in the mail that I want to go ahead and take a quick look at. And I pretty much have an idea what they are. But last, was it last week, I did the video on the 357 SIG barrel that I bought for the Glock 35, which switched it from 40 caliber to uh, 357 SIG caliber. So what I think this is that came in the mail today, it's my Glock 9mm magazines. And these are the 33 rounders, if I move? Yeah, these are the 33 round um, Glock William mags. So we got the mags. That I means this must here must be my barrel in order to change the caliber from 40 cal to 9mm. And whoa, 9mm conversion barrel. Now this is actually a conversion barrel. With 40 cal and 357 SIG, the barrels are pretty much very um, very similar in size wise. So all they are are just literally drop-ins. But it's, it, it, still, it still converts the caliber of the, of the firearm from one to another. Open up my, my lock box here, the gun box, and pull out my Glock 22. And take it out. Magazine in. Check, make sure there's no round in that chamber. Clear safe weapon. Ta-da! Take that slide forward. With Glocks, of course, you have to have to um, press the trigger in order to take the slide off. So let me go ahead and do that. I already press the trigger. Go ahead and take the slide off. Remove the guide rod assembly. Remove the barrel. All I have to do is put in the nine mil don't mess up, don't mess up, Jeff. The 9mm barrel. Put the guide rod, guide rod spring assembly back in. Slide it up. Once again, take clear weapon. So now, my Glock 22, which is typically chambered in 40 caliber, will now shoot 9mm rounds. Now, the one, the one other difference between the 357 SIG um, conversion from a 40 cal is that the 357 SIG still use 40 cal magazines so you don't have to interchange you have to change the magazines but in this case that's why I actually bought the the 9 millimeter these are these are magazines for like a Glock 17 typically because the Glock 17 and the Glock 22 are the exact um, same size as far as configuration wise so and the mag goes up in there nice and good and magazine locks to the rear so as you can see, everything is good to go. Everything fits like as it should. And the big tall, tall test is when I actually go to the range and, and actually shoot the nine millimeter out of here. Sweat in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See what I got to deal with y'all. <laughs> Focus. I just don't like the mags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just got through shooting the 9mm conversion barrel for the Glock 22 40 caliber. So I'm pretty happy because I went ahead and got the Glock 9mm magazines, the 33 round OEM Glock, and they were superb. No failure to feeds, no 
no mishaps, no, 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 nothing went bad whatsoever. So no jams, none of that. So I, I'm glad that I took the chance and went ahead and got that conversion barrel. So for those of you guys out there shooting 40 cal and you want to convert it over to a nine millimeter, there's ways to do it. Just do your research and ensure that you're getting the proper barrel and make sure the proper magazines. So it just, I'm happy. I'm gonna stay away from those cheap Korean knockoff magazines that I that I tried before because they did no justice to to um to the firearm and to the cycling of the of the rounds or none of that. So so anyway, just had a good good shooting right now, and I appreciate the fact that um, a lot of folks told me exactly what I need to do in order to make it happen. And um, thank you to each and every one of y'all. Anyway, let me get back to knocking out a few more rounds. And as I always say, looking forward to each and each and every one of you at the range one day. Peace out.